Ladies and gentlemen, please stand while Chaplain Sarmiento provides the invocation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity that we celebrate on this occasion. We pray for our future soldiers here this afternoon. We ask that you continue to bless them in the new chapter of their life that they begin. We also pray for their families, and we thank you for the sacrifice and the decisions they have made. We pray for the partnerships, Lord, that you have allowed us to enter into partnership with. We pray for Rose this morning. We ask that you bless them in their endeavors. And we also pray for our soldiers and our veterans as they make their transition to come back, Lord, and serve our community. We ask that you bless them and keep them from safe and harm's way. We pray this in God's name. Amen. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the posting of the colors by the New Madrid, New Madrid High School Color Guard and the signing of the or singing of the national anthem by Miss Stephanie Powell. Please be seated. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the U.S. Army Partnership for Youth Success Ceremony. Today's partnership memorandum for agreement between the United States Army and Rhodes 101 will be signed by Captain Jason L. Anderson, Commander, Cape Girardeau Recruiting Company, and Mr. Jeffrey J. Maurer, President, Rhodes 101. At this time, we will have Captain Anderson and Mr. Maurer take a seat at the table. At this time, I would like to introduce you to Captain Jason L. Anderson, Commander, Cape Girardeau Recruiting Company. Captain Anderson was born in Naperville, Illinois. Captain Anderson received his Bachelor's of Science degree in Business Management from Illinois State University. He commissioned as a second lieutenant in the regular Army following his graduation in 2008. His first assignment was 2nd Infantry Division at Camp Casey, Korea, where he served as a platoon leader. He was then assigned to 3rd Infantry Division at Fort Stewart, Georgia, where he served as the Brigade Chief of Operations and the Assistant Operations Officer with the 3rd Infantry Division during his 2013 deployment to Afghanistan 
in support of Operation, Iraqi, or Operation Enduring Freedom. Captain Anderson's first command was Bravo Company 37 Infantry, Fort Stewart, Georgia. Following that assignment, he was assigned as the Cape Girardeau Recruiting Company Commander, Kansas City Recruiting Battalion. His awards and decorations include the Combat Infantryman Badge, the Expert Infantryman Badge, Airborne Badge, Army Commendation Medal, the Army Achievement Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, Afghanistan Campaign Medal, the Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Korea Defense Service Medal, the NATO Medal, the Army Service Ribbon, the Overseas Service Ribbon, and the National Infantry Association Order of St. Maurice. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Maurer, uh, Ms. Guf Gustafson, and the Rhodes team. Uh, thank you for having us, Mr. Johnson from Pays, uh, as well as guests, friends, and New Madrid, JRTC, if I, if you, if I can still hear me, and uh, community partners, soldiers. Uh, thank you all for attending and allowing me to speak on behalf of the U.S. Army. This day represents a start to a hopeful, uh, hopefully long and standing relationship between a known pillar in the community in Rhodes and the U.S. Army. It is my honor to be here for this event. This partnership will allow many of those uh, in the community to serve their country, gaining valuable training, skills, and experiences before re returning to the area and sharing those va the, their valuable leadership and work ethic in the community. PACE is a great way for business and the U.S. Army to not only encourage people to serve their country, but also to ensure that when they transition, that there are viable employment options in the community. With that, I'd like to introduce Mr. Mr. Maurer. Uh, Jeffrey Maurer is the president of Rhodes. Uh, Rhodes operates a chain of convenience stores in Southeast Missouri and Southern Illinois. Mr. Maurer holds two MBAs, one from Columbia Business School in New York and one from London Business School in the United Kingdom. He also attended St. Louis University where he earned his bachelor's in biology. Mr. Maurer lives here in Cape with his wife, Lauren, and their two children, Reynolds and Grayson. In addition to running a very successful company, Mr. Maurer serves on the board of directors for the Big Brother and Big Sisters of Eastern Missouri and is chairman of the Big Brothers and Big Sisters uh, Regional Development Board. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Jeff Maurer. Thank you. Um, our, our company has a long history of ties to the military. And before I start, I actually want to thank those of you in service. We've had a number of employees over the last, my 20 years with Rhodes, that have had times where they have, have served in active duty and, and gone away. And we see the impact that it has on their families, on their friends, on coworkers. And uh, you can't help but feel a debt of honor, or a debt of, of obligation and deep pride in what people do to protect this country. I think the history of our business and the military goes back to our founder, who is my grandfather, Gene Rhodes. And the day he died, I think he viewed three main priorities in his life, his 88-year life. I think one was to have been a, a faithful servant to God and his family. One was the identity he felt to the business. And one was his identity as a soldier, having served in active duty in his younger years. The other thing that's interesting about the history of our business and the military is when he was discharged from active duty as a young man, Gulf Oil used that as a platform to recruit soldiers to come into their business as a commission delivery salesperson. And they were using unofficially almost the same type program as what the PACE program is today. They looked at discharged veterans as people that understood discipline, training, commitment, loyalty, integrity, and they looked at those core values that were instilled in soldiers and thought that was a great way to recruit people into their business as the commissioned salespeople. That's how Rhodes Oil started. So in many respects, this program and our participation in it is coming full circle where now we are able to extend that opportunity to soldiers when they're finishing their time in active duty. So we're very proud to be part of the program. We feel like it's a great opportunity to be exposed to some tremendous people and we look forward to a long history together.
Now we're going to sign the memorandum of agreement that solidifies our partnership with Roads 101. Captain Anderson will also present a certificate of participation and plaque to Roads 101 on behalf of the United States Army PAYS program. We will now conduct an oath of enlistment ceremony for five new future soldiers administered by, Cap by the Cape Girardeau Recruiting Company Commander, Captain Anderson. So while they get set, I'll to talk real quick about the oath of enlistment. Uh, most of you have probably seen it in some portion or on some movie or been a part of it. Um, it's a very big deal in the, in the uh, U.S. Army. So the Oath of Enlistment, these are five of our uh, future soldiers who will leave here for basic training uh, in the next few months. So they're they are all getting ready to take off, so we wanted to take this time to recognize them, uh, recognize them here. Um, so the Oath of Enlistment, it, it, they, will take, they will take the Oath of Enlistment uh, committing, to the, committing to their country when they do their initial enlistment, and also each time they choose to re-enlist if they choose to do so. So with that, I will administer the oath. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I have state name. I have state name. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? Support and defend. To support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And the very true faith and allegiance to the same. And bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to obey the orders of the President of the United States. And to obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the officers appointed over me. And the officers appointed over me. According to the regulations. According to the regulations. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So me up. So I'll be God. Captain Anderson will now provide closing remarks. <clears throat> Again, uh, thank you all for attending. Really do appreciate this, and I look forward to working with all of you. Uh, from, you guys will definitely see us around the community, so say hello. If you see, some, if you see one of my guys uh, wearing, wearing this uniform or that uniform, please make them feel welcome, since we're partners now. And uh, <laughs> please, please join us for some cake following the ceremony. Again, I look forward to a long partnership here and hope to continue to expand opportunities to provide for the long-term growth uh, of our community. Thank you again.